So you've reached that milestone age of 40 and suddenly, not only are there a few more grey hairs and wrinkles, but you're questioning who you are and what you're doing. For some of us, this experience happens at 40 on the dot and for others it happens slightly before or slightly after. Either way, it seems that the stage in a woman's life brings with it a common theme of change. This change can relate to a myriad of contexts from physical, emotional, relational, situational and most definitely professional. Which is where this video comes in. Whether you've been employed for much of your adult life or you've been freelancing or working for yourself all this time, when you reach your 40s it's natural that your career or vocation will come into question. Navigating the collection of complex simultaneous changes often brings a woman to a place of earned wisdom and insight. Wisdom and insight that simply isn't accessible without lived experience of the tsunami of forced modification. In response to this invitation to dance with the unknown, many women embark on a journey of self-education to equip themselves with the best choreography to navigate the dance floor. This information gathering often provides far more value than simply understanding themselves in their own situation, but in fact opens up doors of opportunity where they feel a desire and a need to share what they've learned to support others in their own journey of change. Many women over 40 find themselves pivoting into new roles, shedding the outdated identities of corporate career climber or stared her mom. She's long since lost the ambition to ascend the business ladder and her kids have long since found their independence and moved on to embark on their own journey of discovery. So where does that leave our woman over 40? She turns her attention to a wider network of similar minded individuals, starting to ask the same questions she's since found answers for. And she wants to help them just like those before her aided her transition. But here's where the stumbling block comes in. How does a woman over 40 turned coach, consultant or creative convert her previous identity and expertise into her current and future role? It's time for a personal brand pivot. It's time to make a change. So what is personal branding? It's about the intentional work of a specific individual that breathes the human factor into an otherwise inanimate entity and ensures that their energy exists throughout every aspect of the business and offering. Think of business branding, your logo, website or graphics as the coffee shop, while personal branding is the charismatic barista. You love the coffee shop and the interior and the vibe, but you really look forward to connecting with that smile and the energy of the person who hands you your daily cup of joe. Whether we realize it or not, we each already have a personal brand in an unrefined way. We know it as our reputation or what others remember about us. A well-crafted personal brand brings an element of intentionality, both in the design of our reputation, but also in the use of our own lived experience and learned insight for the purpose of helping others. So this is where our woman over 40 needs to get intentional about what she wants to be known for and how she's going to help others. But first, she needs to reinvent herself. Why pivoting your personal brand can be daunting. Women over 40 who are reinventing themselves ultimately want to ensure that they're still relevant in their new role and in a professional context, they want to know how to translate their personal reinvention into the digital space. But the nature of the digital space brings with it more confusion, more comparison and more examples of unrelatable experts dancing around on TikTok videos, bearing their midriff in the name of grabbing attention. Many women over 40 don't want to do the social media thing and quite frankly, they've realized there are better ways to spend their precious time. But if a large chunk of personal branding reach happens in the digital space, how can it be done without social media? Or if her previous life saw her build a digital presence and an online community across multiple platforms, how does she start showing up in this newfound identity with a different purpose? Our woman over 40 has five options for pivoting her personal brand. One, she could keep showing up as she's always shown up, but risk seeing her unexpressed potential fizzle out and die, along with any meaning she's uncovered in her personal reinvention. Remember, if nothing changes, nothing changes. Two, she could sign up to a myriad of online marketing gurus who share conflicting advice and risk losing her voice and vision because it doesn't fit a particular guru's model. Three, she could start throwing in some of her newfound wisdom and personal philosophies into her social media feed, but risk confusing her audience if they didn't see this coming or don't share the same values or are distracted by another trending dance video. And I'm a 
For she could avoid showing up altogether, keeping her wisdom to herself, or for the few stragglers who do happen to cross her path and are willing to give it a go just because they're getting really discounted rate. So they've got nothing to lose. Or five, she could follow the advice of Fleetwood Mac. You can go your own way. personal brand pivot your way. The 60s, 70s and 80s was a truly original and revolutionary time for music. Some of the best classics were created in those transformative decades. Classics that to this day are still relevant, still awesome and still hit the heartstrings. These days modern music tracks seem indistinguishable from each other and if they do happen to have a chord or two that grabs you, it's likely a remake of an aforementioned classic. No one thinks this is an original Shirley. Time for copycatting has come and gone. It's time to move away from cookie cutter approaches to anything. The adage, take what resonates and leave the rest, is a mantra for any self-aware lifelong learner. We're living in a time when individuality is becoming mainstream and this lines up perfectly for women in their 40s and older. This is a chapter of our lives where we're intuitively seeking to unlearn conditioning and expectations forced on us before we knew who we were. In this season of life, we're actively exploring our individuality and making changes and choices that are unique to our own values. So it's the perfect time to extend that exploration into the expression of a personal brand pivot. So here's some words to the wise about pivoting your personal brand, but remember, take what resonates and leave the rest. So first of all, it has to start with you. Get clarity about who you are before you start creating content. Without this foundation, your personal brand will crumble at the slightest speed bump. Find an introspective model that helps you articulate who you are. For example, the 12 personality archetypes. Next, remember that everyone's journey is unique. Be inspired, but make your own decisions and design your own path. What you choose is valid because you chose it. Stop comparing yourself to others further along on their journey. Be inspired, but stay focused on your own path. Maintain an emotional connection with your audience. Go deeper than demographics and psychographics. Connect with their human emotion. When you understand and articulate your audience's unspoken fears and silent desires, you'll connect far more meaningfully than knowing what magazine they read or which labels they wear. Understand your specific promise specify what you're offering and how your approach is unique. Go beyond the tangible and share the intangibles of your offer. See the previous point. Choose your platform. Tackle your online presence with a minimalist mindset. Less is more quality over quantity. Embrace the medium that you most enjoy. If you enjoy writing, then blog. If you enjoy video, then do YouTube. If you enjoy audio, then start a podcast. The best piece of advice I can offer when choosing your platforms besides your preferred medium is to prioritize search-based platforms. Where do the masses actively search rather than scroll? Hint, Google, YouTube, Pinterest, Spotify, Apple podcasts. Aligned self-expression. Turn your internal identity into an external expression. Make sure that every piece of content you're sharing looks, sounds, and feels like the real you. If a longtime follower meets you in person and are surprised by what they hear, see, and feel in your presence, you need to go back and rework your digital content. Create, share, repeat. Start creating and sharing the content that genuinely impacts your audience and get used to repeating yourself a lot. And then keep refining. Evolution doesn't stop. Clarity comes from taking action and your personal and professional evolution never stops until you do. There's always more to learn, so get curious about who you continue to become and who you can more profoundly impact. And ensure that you keep updating as you go. If you follow even half of these suggestions for your personal brand pivot, you'll feel more confident in your choices, you'll be more discerning about your online activity, you'll have more impact, and you'll have more clarity about yourself, your audience, and the content you create. If you'd like to start this process of your personal brand pivot, remember that it starts with you. Take my free archetype quiz and learn to articulate who you really are. May this milestone journey of change be a creative and expressive one that translates your personal reinvention into your own digital revamp in your own way. 
If you found this video helpful or inspiring, please show me by giving a thumbs up, subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and then leave a comment below letting me know which nugget had the most impact for you. And while you're at it, let me know what video you'd like to see next, whether it's related to your personal reinvention or your digital revamp. I'd love to make that video for you. Until then, see you in the next one. Bye. My husband hasn't seen my haircut yet. I'm going to call him up to come and have a look see. Can I ask you to come up here quickly, please? I need your help. <laughs> Just come upstairs. Yes, please. I've cut it already. Yeah? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, very cool. <laughs> I don't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yes, that's cool. But what let me turn around and see. Oh, yeah. I need to still straighten it up a little bit. I think it's straight. Do you think so? Yeah. I think I need to put in a few layers. Okay. What do you think? I think it's very, very pretty. You think so? Yes. I might go shorter. No! <laughs> I don't think people want to see your bum hole. Get your bum out of the shop.